Welcome to the Chibi Cafe. I'm Jody, and today we'll be making a black forest cake from a box. Don't forget, uh, if you like the video, to like and subscribe and share. Now, what you'll need is a box of chocolate cake mix, any that you like. Uh, you'll need the chocolate mousse, vanilla mousse, some black cherry fruit filling, and this is optional, just some chocolate shaving pieces. First, uh, you can either bake two cakes, is what I've done, um, and if you just want two tiers, then just um, stack and frost them together, or you can cut them in half. Like so. So I'm just cutting this in half. And one of these just makes it easier to get all of your cake halves uh, the right length because you can adjust it. But if you only have a knife, then um, use a serrated knife and sort of cut around. Stop. Now these have set, these mousses. Um, you can uh, do it when it's semi-set. If you do it when they're fully set, then um, you will just need to put it in a bowl. I've got my fruit filling. You can use fruit, fresh fruit pieces if you want, um, or frozen cherries as well. And I'm just adding this to my vanilla mousse. And now I'm going to stir it up and loosen the mousse up so that I can spread it over the different layers. Okay, so I've mixed that in. Stop. And because I'm using uh, four layers, I want to um, just add some chocolate to two of the layers. So, and get the rest of the uh, cherry filling. Add that in. Stir it round to loosen it up. And there we go. So I've put a little dab of the chocolate mousse on the center of the cake board. And now I'm just going to put my bottom piece on. This just stops it from moving. Uh, and then we're going to put the mousse on. Okay. All right, so it's really up to you uh, what you start with. I'm gonna start with the uh, sort of cherry vanilla. Spread that on. Now if you didn't want to mix this in, you could just uh, chuck a bunch of, uh, you could just use the vanilla mousse and then chuck a bunch of cherries on top. Okay. Okay, next we're going to take another layer. Just put it on top. If it uh, cracks or breaks. It's okay, because you can spackle it all together. And this time I'm going to take the chocolate filling mousse and fill her up. You can be as generous as you want, 
or you can apply it as lightly as you want. This is entirely uh, to taste. I could eat this mousse by the bucket load, so I'm being very, very generous with it. Now I'm taking the other layer, and uh, this is the top half of the cake, and I'm putting it on here because I want to use the bottom bit for the uh, the final layer. Okay, I'm taking my uh, last bit of the vanilla and applying it. Okay, last piece. Let's put that on top and take that off. Okay, now uh, I'm not going to use the filling mixture. I am going to loosen up the rest of my mousse, my dark mousse. Okay, so for the uh, for the frosting, I'm using the chocolate mousse, and what you want to do, if it's set, is you just need to stir it around and loosen it up as much as possible. Um, it might be easier if you make this fresh and then wait for it to semi set. Okay. So, just taking a generous dollop. Spreading it out. No crumb coat this crumb coat this time. And now I've got my palette knife and I'm spreading it all the way to the end. and over the sides. Get yourself another nice little dollop. It's mousse, it's not frosting, so uh, it's not going to be as sweet as frosting would. So now I'm going to take my palette knife and then just try and smooth over. Now I've bought these uh, chocolate stripes. Um, if you can't get a hold of these, or you know, you don't really have to. It's just uh, it makes life a little easier. You can grate white chocolate and dark chocolate. Just make sure it's a decent quality. Now I put them in a bowl, and the easiest way to do this is just. If you're doing, if you're like trying to side sprinkles or anything, the easiest way is just to put it in a bowl and then do it over the bowl so that the extra 
excess goes in the bowl, not all over your countertops. And then you can tap off the extra into the bowl. And you got your sides decorated with chocolate shavings. And next we will decorate the top. So same as the chocolate, I just need to stir it up, loosen it up because uh, I'm going to put this in a piping bag and then pipe uh, little dollops on the top. Okay, uh, for this, because it's stiff, you can just fold your piping bag over your hand and cram some in. You don't want to fill it all the way to the tippy top. Okay. Okay. So I'm using a giant star tip. I'll be doing today is some dollops like this. So if you just practice on your side, okay. like so. If you use two hands, you get a bit better control, a bit more pressure. So I've got another uh, fruit, black cherry fruit filling, and I'm just fishing out some cherries. And I'm just going to put them in the center here. I'm just going to put them in the center. Okay, now this is entirely optional, but I'm going to put some black cherry filling in the middle okay so I'm just spreading it out I'm not going too far over the edge I just want to flatten it out so that every piece will get just a smidgen of the stuff on top. And here we have the finished product, the Black Forest cake. After you've decorated it, uh, because the mousse is quite soft, you need to put it back in the refrigerator to set for four hours at least. Overnight is best. But if you're doing this on the day of a dinner party, um, four hours will do it. So the cake's been set in the refrigerator and you can see all the lovely layers. And there's a slice shot of it. Okay, so here's the finished product. The Black Forest cake from a box, it was really easy to do. Um, and don't forget to like the video if you've liked it, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get all the update, uh, updated videos. And have fun cooking! <laughs>